listen, money, just the money Go to follow, 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 you let go This year, good bless, God bless everybody So, um, today I am trying to focus on making longer videos again Um, and here is a video that I recorded earlier that I feel was some words um, that God placed in my heart and as the body of Christ we are called to help each other right encourage each other in the Lord to continue to persevere to not give up and um, to know that um, we are called to continue going forward because endurance the ability to have that resilience and that endurance builds our character and when we have character, it shows God, us, the enemy, and everyone around us who exactly we are. And if we are really trying to um, be made over into the image and the likeness of God and enter the kingdom of heaven, then that's the only way to obtain it. To prove um, that even though things are difficult, even though um, things might not go our way, even though we might suffer and go through pain and trials and tribulations, we still believe in the God who created us and that, 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 that he is faithful, that he is strong. And there's nothing impossible for him. And not only that, but that he is the writer. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. And he knows exactly what he is doing. And if he didn't spare his only son, Jesus Christ, that he allowed his own son, Yeshua, to die on the cross. But yet he resurrected him on the third day. It means that, you know what, we, we might go through some stuff here as well. But at the end of the day, our reward is great in heaven. And if we are faithful, some of those rewards are going to sprinkle down on us like rain. And it's going to bless our lives and the people around us. So don't give up. And I, if you like videos that are longer like this, please give it a thumbs up. That way I know to make more longer videos. I was getting a lot of more views on the shorts. But I feel that God is leading me back to creating longer videos um and hopefully i will start doing them where i'm not driving and i'm more focused on what i'm actually saying because driving and doing videos it's not really um safe so i'm hoping to have more time as well for that hopefully this weekend um or the next i can start focusing on longer videos god bless you guys thank you to all my subscribers um i know there's just a few but you know what I'm, I'm great with a few. Of course, I would love God to bless the channel with more views and more subscribers and followers. And that is, that'll be great when it happens. When it does, amen. But you know what? I'm grateful for you guys. And I'm grateful for the guys that con constantly come back to my channel to watch my videos. And please, if you guys like um the... um. Uh, what kind of videos do you guys want to uh, want me to create more? Please let me know on the comments if you guys want me to do more cooking videos, do more um, videos where I actually go out and show you guys restaurants, uh, my favorite things, my favorite things to do, or um, what topics of the Bible you want me to speak about, any questions. And if you have any prayers or anything like that, um, I'm going to see if I create a separate email for that. And I believe that I do actually already have one. Um, but um, you guys can always feel free to send me anything to my regular email, which is Jesenia Foster at gmail.com. Um, that's J-E-S-E-N-I-A, foster, like foster care, F-O-S-T-E-R at gmail.com. And I, I will read your prayers. I will read your emails. If you guys want to share anything, um, feel free to do that as well. Pri if you want to share anything privately. Okay, so God bless you guys. Stay encouraged, stay blessed, and know that you are a child of God. And if you are a child of God, there is destiny inside of you. There's purpose inside of you. So, um, yeah. Let's get into this video. You are loved, okay? God has brought your life, your existence with a price, meaning it doesn't matter what you 
do or what you have done as long as you spend uh, have a lifestyle of repentance as long as you're willing to recognize your faults humble yourselves and, and resist the enemy and have a relationship with God the price that he has paid is big enough that blood that he shed is big enough uh, uh, <clears throat> to 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 pay for the damage caused to pay for your release okay you don't have to live your life as a victim you don't have to live your life feeling like oh my god i have so much evil thoughts i have so many intrusive thoughts i have so many things not going well for me i have uh, a, a chaotic lifestyle i have so much chaos in my life there's so much toxicity i can't get through i i'm never going to be able to get out of this i can't get by i can't i can't get to my promise and i can't reach i can't i can't i can't it's lies from the enemy is lies from the pit of hell and excuse me because i'm just trying to say this but i'm sick my throat is still swollen but um god wants you to know that god, the enemy is going to rain on your parade just like it's raining here today it's raining in new york the rain is going to come down the enemy is going to rain on your parade there might be days where you feel like wow today was just such a perfect day but nine times out of ten the enemy is going to rain on your parade and we have to get out of this this feeling of woe is me and victim mentality because if you can stay there long enough it will consume you you will become that you will think that that's the only part of you that that's that's all that's the only thing that you are that's 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 you no we have to resist the enemy resist the lies resist the things of this world because that is what's in this world aside from the from the pride of life and these all these luxury things and these material things after all of that it's just it's just really vanity all of those things are vanity and when and when and when you see the deep root of vanity it's just really no god in it there's no holiness in it there's no like purity in it there's no substance in it and god is all that we need so it doesn't matter how how you feel it doesn't matter what you're going through god has sent his only begotten son to pay the price so that you can be free so that you can have a life in abundance so even though it might feel it might seem like the enemy is raining on your parade and nothing good is happening to you it doesn't matter that the enemy is raining on your parade because you are saved. So that means that God has a promise to keep, that he will never leave you. And God is not just about a person, is, is not a person who's just trying to take space in your life and do nothing. No, God promises to give you an abundant life here that even in the midst of your chaos even in the midst of your toxicity he is going to do something great he is going to save your situation it's just a matter of time and it's just about you utilizing your faith and it's also about god testing us sometimes that even though we might not get the things when we want it how we want it are we still going to have that tender heart to, towards god are we still going to be open to god are we still going to allow god to intervene in our lives and stay in our lives or are we going to go after the things of the flesh are we going to be disobedient children are we going to ignore him are we going to give him a, the cold shoulder are we going to create idols off of the things of this world and lift it up and worship it and instead of worshiping the true living god we need to get back to a place of intimacy of God and worshiping the one true God and get out of social media, get out of um, other people's business, get out of uh, other people's minds, get out of other people's personal space and get to a place of intimacy where you hear from God and God hears from you because that is is ultimately how you receive salvation because in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God and God created this world by the speaking of his word so if you can't do the basic 101 which is to communicate with God you really have no relationship with God
You have no authority. And then we wonder, people wonder, when will I, my, this, these enemies be underneath my feet? When will these thoughts be underneath my feet? When will these enemies be destroyed? When will you begin? The question is, when will you begin to truly speak to your creator so that he can give you exactly what you need, so that he can give you the promise that is in Jesus, that even though the serpent Even though the serpent, like Genesis says, I forget how exactly it says, but the, it says, I think it's the, the serpent bit his, the serpent bit, you, you will bite the, you will bite Jesus's um, heel, right? Thank you, Lord. <laughs> the serpent will bite, bite Jesus's heel, the son of man's heel, but he will crush your head. So things might feel like it's it's stinging, it hurts. It might be a little painful life, but God has promised us Jesus and God has promised us authority. And that is the authority that is in Christ when we are obedient. And when we, we say, here I am, Lord, then he will grant you that power to have your enemies beneath your feet. Be blessed. Shabbat Shalom on tonight and see you in the next video. Peace.